Chupshun Watershed Association. They were very, very active for the last 12 to 14 years in, in cleaning up uh, an area that had just been devastated by mining. We're right in the middle of coal country. I mean, every stream in this area has been destroyed. We had numerous seeps that were dumping not into, into Shoops, but into its main tributary, uh, Miller, and into Kennedy, which is a tributary to Miller. Miller Run makes its way into the uh, raised town, which I think is important in the whole overall picture to have clean water wherever it ends up. I mean, that it's clean. This was really nasty water. <laughs> so we knew we had to deal with the acid mine drainage if we were gonna get aquatic life back in there. It was just part of a puzzle, but this was the first thing that we had done, our first project. This area was once a bony pile, or mountain of coal refuse, as well as a community garbage dump. It's now a multifaceted passive treatment system cleaning up nearby Schaup's Run and Miller Run. We put these acid mine drainage treatment systems in. We put some dosing systems in, areas where we could add limestone sand to increase the alkalinity in the water. We put limestone beds in where the water would come through, raise the pH, increase alkalinity. Even the road itself, winding through this section of state game lands, is contributing to the reclamation of the watershed. I've always said a, a road is a big ditch that leads to the creek. We actually use high calcium carbonate, it's called a driving surface aggregate, that we put down. Cars drive over it, break it down a little bit. Every time it rains, we're gonna get a flush of alkalinity and pH up in the stream every time it rains. It's a perfect passive treatment system. Quite a success story there, we're real proud of that. We place a lot of emphasis on environmental education in the county. We have a very, very close working relationship with Juniata College. We can be successful with Growing Greener and 319 and foundation grants just because of that partnership. We take a lot of Juniata College students down to our abandoned mine land sites because they can get down there and they can do water quality monitoring, they can do macroinvertebrate surveys, they can see these projects as they evolve and the water quality improves, they can be a part of that. Students can also be part of the Envirothon, an educational competition which began here in central Pennsylvania and now boasts over 500,000 participants throughout the United States and Canada. We try to make it as hands-on as possible, and every year we have an environmental issue, a current issue. Maybe it's landfills, or, or maybe it's wetlands. At this point in their life, they know more than what we ever did when we were their age. And those kids are gonna be our future environmental leaders, no doubt. Just start a little bit cleaning up the environment, and other things tend to follow. What we saw was a tremendous improvement in the community. It's just an amazing transformation. This particular watershed group, Shoops Run, they evolved actually as a group to look at flooding issues. We were able to do a lot of stream bank protection and that successful effort then triggered an evolution with that group to, to get involved with other issues. We're not a big city or a big town or anything. And I really think a lot of people didn't think that we were serious enough to succeed. They've just been relentless in their pursuit of funding and, and uh, you know, contacting all their legislators. And we started to invite people to see what you know our projects were. We have to work through a bureaucracy when we write grants, you know, and they have to be approved and contracts have to be developed and bid documents and, and all this kind of stuff. You know, Gracie didn't have a whole lot of patience, you know. Gracie wanted to, let's do it, you know, let's do it, let's do it tomorrow. When you get one good person behind you and then you keep getting more, I mean, you can't lose. <laughs> you know, we want to clean this place up. You know, we want to put trout back in, in, in some of these streams, and they did that. When you take an almost three mile stream of absolutely no life in it, and you turn it into a stream full of brook trout. The brook trout moved down, they're reproducing. We got little guys, we got big guys. We had Kennedy Run meeting Miller Run. We put a seamless culvert in, and the trout just go where they want to go. The state game land officials, all the things that they have allowed us to do, I mean, I think it's just absolutely wonderful that they have all this land. I mean, they're the land keeper, but they do care. 
People started taking pride in their backyards. Almost every environmental um, organization has given us an award. People should be very proud of that. We're making a difference. You know, we're, we're making a difference there.